Thank you for joining us here at the USU Career Studio for Career Tip Tuesday. I'm John Folger, your host, and this month we are going to be talking about reflection and using this strategy to further your career path and success. Today's Tuesday tip is going to be all about reflective learning. Reflective learning combines the strategies of reflection and how learning works that we have discussed. Reflective learning specifically takes situations of the past and applies them to future problems. This is why we learn, to be able to adapt to future situations and struggles. In order to learn from our reflective experiences, we need to find the problems or situations in the future that we want to focus on and improve upon. It is best to single out one at a time when doing this process so that the process can be as focused and streamlined as possible. Once we have a Identified what we want to focus on, then it is time to look back or reflect on situations in the past that deal with this new problem. A key to doing this is opening up the creative side of our brains so that we can adapt our experiences to fit with the new problem. This is not an easy task to accomplish. You need to look at both your past experiences as well as the future problem in new ways in order to get them to fit better together. This is what reflective learning is all about, taking past learning and twisting the lessons to fit and help you on future problems. As well, it will be helpful in this process to clearly tease out all of the different facets of the goal in the future that you are trying to accomplish. Instead of looking at it in one dimension, try breaking it down into different parts. For example, let's say that you are a newly graduated college student. Your next step is probably to get a job that has to do with your degree. But what if there are no job openings in your field? but there are in some other field. You can take your reflective learning and figure out what parts of this new career field match up with what you learned in your college studies. For example, if you're a communications major, all careers will deal with the need to communicate with someone, customers, coworkers, bosses, etc. The list could go on and on. If you're a chemistry major, your analytic thinking skills that you have learned and developed do not just deal with the sciences only. What I'm basically saying is take what you have learned and then find ways to apply your unique and well-gotten skills to the problems that are in front of you. This process of taking what you have already learned and applying it to the situations of the now and of the future is reflective learning. As long as you are growing new skills and adapting them to the situations that you are encountering, you are learning. Thank you for joining us at the USU Career Studio for Career Tip Tuesday. Please don't forget to tell your friends about this podcast and to subscribe on YouTube to get all of the newest Career Tip Tuesday episodes first. Please join us next week as we continue giving you tips to improve your career path.